fill that coffee filter with mini unwrapped Starburst. We're gonna add a full bottle of tequila. We're gonna move it right over the Starburst. You're gonna want this filled with ice. I like oranges in mine. Put this right back here, turn it on, and in just seconds, you're gonna have a full pitcher of cocktails. Look at that go right there, right? Ah! Just a couple seconds, that tequila is coming through, infusing the Starburst on the way down and gonna make its way down here right into the pot. And we're gonna have a full pot of skinny handcrafted margaritas, okay? So now you're gonna take jalapenos, stick them in your toaster, and these are gonna be done right at the same time. Here this we go. So fast. So fast. The easiest way to make a drink, and it's really consistent too. This is sugar. And that doesn't that look good. Last and final step, real quick. Look at that jalapeno. Wow. Look how beautifully toasted that is. I'm just gonna kinda muddle that up a little bit. So when we pour this over, look at that drink. Let's get a little ice in there. Oh Drop my god, the drink. so pretty. Try it. It's amazing. You know what? F it. I'm gonna make it. Step one, mini starburst. Top of the line tequila. Don't forget to put ice in the pot. You don't have to shoot this. No, I'm shooting it. The woman in the Tech Talk also put a quartered lime in there. I'll do the same. She also said she likes her margaritas with an orange. That looks unmistakably like a tangerine, so I'm making an executive decision and putting a tangerine in there. And there she goes. I can't lift this too far up because it does this. <laughs> While we're at it. it. Smells like hot tequila. It smells like hot tequila. So how do I feel about this process? Broadly speaking, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'm not crazy about the idea of running booze through a coffee maker. One, it might ruin the coffee maker. I'm also afraid some of the alcohol might either evaporate or burn off. But the covalent bond between alcohol and water isn't broken until you get up to about 178 degrees, so it's not really gonna be a problem. As far as the practice of infusing booze with candy, People are already doing it. I just did a video about 450 North and they've been making beer with crazy ingredients for a while. But even more specifically than that, I mean, shit. My friend Sarah gave me this beer and it's brewed with Skittles, which means it is actually Skittlebrow. You got any of that beer that has candy floating in it? You know, Skittlebrow? It tastes like Skittles. Also tastes like shit. And you get to try one too. Cheers. You undersold it a little bit. <laughs> you think so? I mean, it, it, it does taste like Skittles. It tastes like what it is. I've had enough. <laughs> yeah. Poop. Not really charred, but I think I've ruined enough appliances for one day. Not a bad idea though. Also, I'm not sure that this is even going through the filter because of the candy. No, I don't rim my margaritas with salt or sugar, but she's doing it with sugar, so I'm doing it with sugar. A couple of fat jalapeno wheels mashed aggressively with a spoon. And the last step is the dirty dump. Cheers, I guess. Oh, oh. You can't get past the initial hit of sweetness from the sugar rim. I don't know if it's gonna be better or worse once that's out of the way. Oh. Oh. No. I mean, it's just watered down tequila that's been sitting in mini Starburst. And to the drink's credit, you do get a little bit of the jalapeno, but it's not making this any better. Okay, give me the camera. Kendall, say hello to the internet. Hello, internet. It's not good, but the jalapeno came through. That's good. Everything else is not. Well, I may have ruined a coffee maker and I definitely ruined a bottle of tequila. Would I consider infusing booze in a coffee machine again? Probably not. Am I gonna experiment with different kinds of booze and candy to try and find an optimal match? Definitely not. If I made you laugh, please consider subscribing and uh, don't try this at home. That beer is way better than that. <laughs>